Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Quarantine Connect 2020. I know we are all safe at home. We are enjoying ourselves, doing our best to do different things. And uh, considering that uh, this must be the time when most families are closely together, they're spending more time together since um, all of us have to have our spaces in home only and stay there itself. And there might be some issues related to sustaining confidence, related to having healthy relationships. There could be conflicts and some troubles. So I decided to have my friend on call with me. Her name is Anita. And uh, she's a relationship and confidence coach. She believes strongly in women empowerment. She's also a motivational speaker who's been um, encouraging women to find their true selves. So she's here with us today to help us understand how to build better relationships and how to sustain more uh, happiness in our lives. We will also touch upon different topics related to confidence, related to building trust, related to having fun, embracing ourselves today. So Anita, how are you? Hi, Nasheen. Thank you so much for having me on your podcast. I am doing great, even in a lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you made time for me because I know everybody's busy, especially the coaches are very busy. Yes, yes, we are. I'm actually more busy than I'm ever than I ever was, which is really funny. So you can use always every crisis as an opportunity. Yes, true. That's the right way of going about it. So let's start today talking uh, today's conversation about um, women empowerment. That that can be the key point we start from. So what do you take women empowerment as? Because it can be like we were talking before we started recording, it can be about um, gender equity in workplace, it can be about careers, it can be about having healthier relationships at home, but what really an empowered woman looks like and why a woman needs to be empowered if she needs that at all. Oh, everyone needs to be empowered. <laughs> so to go back to women empowerment, as I told you before, it's such a wide topic, right? It goes to gender equality at the workplace, in our lives, in society, and all of that. So I moved away from that part of women empowerment because it's just too bright. And the niche that I'm focusing on for women is sensuality and confidence, which is all the same base self-love and self-worth and it is very important for a woman to truly know who she is and what her worth is because you know in nowadays times due to the old programming that we had we were always raised to be good girls to be you know the girls who put others first who don't really go for after what they want and that has crippled many of us and made us think much smaller about ourselves than we are so for a woman to truly embrace her femininity and her womanhood, she has to be confident, but I'm talking from within. So it is not about your body shape, your looks, your hair, your makeup, all of these are external factors and they're beautiful, but your true power is the power from within, where you know your worth, you love yourself unconditionally, and it's not just a term, it's an actual fact that exists, and you radiate and you communicate that as well to other people and with yourself there is a big difference when you look at a woman who is at peace with who she is versus one who is not and you can pick up on that and that's called authenticity um, right yes yes so uh, many people find it very difficult to understand how they can tap into their inner strength like, this is a very common question, even during my talks, it's a very common question. A lot of girls would ask me how we can find who we really are. So in your opinion, with your experiences with so many different people you've been advising and helping, how really can a woman find, discover her true sense, true strength, and how she can gain the confidence of being who she really is? Yes, yeah, so true strength and how to tap into it is to first embrace your shadow side. Mm -hmm. 
So Carl Jung talks about this in his book as the human dark side. We all have a light side, which is our positive traits and a dark one. And we usually try to suppress the dark shadow side of who we are, which are things about ourselves that we claim as unworthy, as dirty, as not good enough, and we are even ashamed of. So it's important to understand who am I as a person, not just as a woman, but as a person. What are my positive, what are my negative traits? And to really dig deep and embrace your own shadows. And by doing this, it is very much a form of an exorcism, right? It's dirty, it's messy, it's scary, but only by doing that and integrating those parts, you can become a fully like embraced human being. So as a woman, you have to ask yourself, what are my qualities? Where am I unique? What am I good at? Usually the strengths that each and every one hold within are the strengths that give you energy, that give you power. You Do know you uh, Sorry to cut you short. Do you think that other people's uh, perception of uh, a woman and like her ecosystem, does it help her recognize her strength? Or uh, is it the other way around? You mean a surrounding? Yes, the surrounding, the perception of other people and their reactions towards her behavior, her thoughts, her choices. Do you think that helps her understand her strengths more or less? Should she be paying heed to what other people are thinking, saying, or uh, um, um, let's say uh, estimating about her? In my experience, it can help when people that you value around you and that have your best interest at heart support you and give you feedback yes but you should not live your life based on other people's opinion because what you do is you give your power away to others so if their opinion about you is positive you'll feel good and the moment they withdraw it and it's negative you will feel bad about yourself so external factors like family friends yes they can help they can support you and they can also of course give you constructive feedback which is important but your main job comes from within and you know usually how it works we receive information we form a perception we build behavior these mm -hmm. are the three pillars how it stems from so it's important and crucial where you get your information from and from whom it's not so much important who tells you something sorry what is said to you but who is saying it to you who is saying it okay who is saying i got your point yeah yeah, yeah true true so it's not everybody we should listen to. It's only the selected people we believe who are interested in seeing us as better people, as stronger people. They are the ones we should listen to. You should listen most and foremost to yourself. You should know who you are and you should know what is right for you in the bottom of your heart. Right. Many people, even those who truly love you, will tell you to do A. Because in their perception, it's the right thing to do while your soul and your entire being is screaming to do be. By the end of the day, other people's opinion, you can consider them, but you always have to make the decisions based on what is right for you. Okay. And I mean, really from your inner being, not from the thoughts you have created because you think it should be right to do that, but because you know it is the right thing for you. Okay, true. <laughs> so tapping for inner power is not difficult it's something that you need to do for yourself so the power yeah. lies inside you yes you have to imagine that the power let's imagine it like a ball of light right so it's a ball of light that's inside of you so around this ball of light is all the dust all the dirt that comes through programming from your perception through patterns that don't serve you anymore, subconscious programming, right? So the light is dimmed. It's dark. There's so much dust and dirt around it. You can't see it. So what you have to do is remove all of those layers of that dust from the ball of light so it can shine through. Because we are all born with that power and we hold it within. And it's not something that you have to get from the outside. It's already there. It's simply, a, it's simply the, the question is only how to get to it, how to dust it off, how to clean it, and how to truly embrace it. And it always goes back to trust. How much do you trust yourself to take the right decisions, to know what is right for you, regardless of everyone around? So, yeah, that helps. 